Yo, what's up, YouTube? Peace, positivity, self-awareness, motivation. So guys, today I was talking to a friend, man, and he got to talk to me about this, like Jake Paul and Tyrone um, Woodley situation, the interview that they just did. I think a little bit over 24 hours ago it was released. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Some uh, crazy things were said. Ask Tyron Woodley. Ask you these know, nuts. Four, four time. Some disrespectful thing was said. Gangster. When, when I don't have to be gangster. Your mom. I don't have to be gangster. You mm -hmm. should check your dogs on that mm -hmm. on, the, on the same token. Well, Ferguson, women's, Ferguson women's appreciation like, day, but you allow your teammates. Fer Ferguson your sounds like to a pretty gangster mom. place. Some sus things were said. I, I, don't care. I thought you looked cute. You look mad cute right now. Can I grip them cheeks after this? Yo, you so I can't even. Nope. You know what I want to say, but I I'm I'm smart. I'm smart. Pause. But anyways, we're talking, and he says to me, he says, you know what, man? Jake is like a uh, marketing genius. Those are the words he used. He said, marketing genius. And I thought about it for a little bit. And I said, you know what? I guess, you know? And the truth is, I was like, man, I don't, I don't really see him that way. I don't see him like a marketing genius, right? There are plenty of things. I, hey, he's good at getting people's attention. But I don't see him as a marketing genius. And this is why, man. What, what I see when I look at someone like, Jake Paul is I see somebody that's willing to do anything for attention, right? Anything at all. And to me, that doesn't make you um, a genius when it comes to marketing, especially because, you know, if, if you're willing to do anything at all for attention, it means that you don't have any line that you're not willing to cross, right? You're willing to talk about people badly, paint them in the wrong way and talk about family. You know, there's a situation there where they got into it where someone from Jake Paul's camp was talking about um, Tyrone's mom. And you know, you're really crossing lines, man. And it got me thinking, we live in a time where clout is this thing that everybody is chasing. Everybody can't get enough clout. Everybody wants more attention, 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 attention here. And they'll do anything to get it, right? sacrifice their reputation, burn bridges, disrespect people, and it's landed a lot of people in trouble. A lot of people, just think of some of your favorite rappers. It works for a few, but it doesn't work for everybody. And to me, it doesn't seem like the way to uh, well-intentioned balanced future positive life you know because we're about positivity on this channel as much as we are about being men right as much as we are about not taking shit from people and respect but you see there's a balance in those things and the culture right now we're in this place where people would do anything to be seen they'll do anything man they'll talk about anybody They'll fake relationships. And the people who are aware, right, the real ones out there, you guys can recognize and see when somebody's on there. I mean, even during that interview with him and uh, Tyron Woodley, you know, Tyron called him out a couple of times and said, man, you're a poser, right? You're a fake. You have a facade. You're pretending, you know? And it's really hard, man, to hold up an image. In the long run, someone's going to see right through you. I remember when I first started getting into YouTube, especially in the RP space, uh, when it came to like guys that were talking about female nature, male nature, game, everything from relationships, how to get laid, um, all that, man. I had a girlfriend at the time and I made a video titled, Why I Have a Girlfriend. And for some reason I thought, hey, you know what, let me just put the fact that I'm out here in a committed relationship and RP aware. Right now I'm single, guys, but this was when I first started doing YouTube. Um, I put that out there. And I've always 
try to be as transparent as possible when it comes to my content. Okay, of course you can't put too much out there because you know some of you guys out there are weird. And I don't want you guys show up popping up to my house and shit. But um, what I'm trying to say is being yourself is very rare, right? There's a lot of people living facades. There's a lot of people who are pretending to be things that they're not. And in the long run, I think that's a recipe for disaster. As a man, if you want to attain something, let's say money, how you make your money matters as much as how much money you make. If you want to sleep comfortably at night, right? How you got your power matters as much as do the people around you respect you? Or are they waiting to catch you slipping so they could take you down, right? If you're willing to burn bridges, stab people in the back, and you built a reputation of negativity around you, right? You have no integrity. You're willing to say anything, offend anybody, man. And when we talk about offending people, when we talk about offending men, we're really talking about male nature. Male nature is a very dangerous thing. You see, women nature of being hypergamous, right, and seeking that high value male, you know, that, that will take from a man. But male nature of competition and jealousy, that leads to death. There is blood around the corner, right? Things turn into uh, not a game really quickly. A lot of people, your favorite rappers, a lot of people who have said things and it started out as it's all just music, it's all just this, have ended up taken, right? Out of this life, out of this world. It all started up with competition and jealousy. So this is a fine line there, man. And I'm not wishing anything on anybody, but to say marketing genius to a lot of people coming up nowadays who have a lot of attention to me is very disingenuous in my opinion. And the truth is, man, like I said, the real ones see it. You can look at someone like Jake Paul and see like, okay, this is what he's doing. He wants attention and it's entertaining, right? While it lasts, it's good. But what's the long-term effects of this? You can stab people in the back, man. Let me tell you, you can be the worst person out here. You could treat people badly, right? To get to where you're at, you could cross people and you could do everything that you need to to get to where you're at. But don't forget, the laws of nature exist. What you put into this world will be given back to you. I truly believe that. And not only that, man, you also have to live with what you do. You know, which is part of the reason why I had to start making these specific videos because I wanted to have something on my channel where I was being very purposeful about spreading um, men becoming not only better versions of themselves, but becoming men who were trusted, right? Men who can stand up for something. Because if you don't have a code of conduct, things you will not do. I can't personally trust you. I can't keep people in my life who have nothing to lose, who will do anything for money. How can I trust you? I need to be able to know that, hey, such and such wouldn't do that. Even though I have 10 people telling me or trying to tell me, no, I heard this, I heard that. No, 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 no. Okay, yes, he, he can get a little bit selfish, but no, he wouldn't do that, right? It's important as a man that you build a reputation where you're not willing to do anything for clout because that's the generation we live in. Everybody is trying to get attention, all for nothing, just for the sake of attention, just for the sake of being rich. Being rich is not the answer. It helps, get your money, don't get it twisted, man. Follow me, but finding meaning in your life, right, and what you do with that money, the people you have around you, the people that trust you, the people that have your back, your reputation, the impact you leave behind, the people you help, that shit matters too. That matters too. Trying to stir things up, doing anything to be seen, easily triggered, easily emotional. That's feminine energy, bro. 
That's not alpha. Being intentional, being collected. Doing what you said you were going to do. Being able to admit when you're wrong. That's solid. And so, in this culture, in this generation, where men are willing to do anything whatsoever, and don't get me wrong here, you need to compete. Get your money. Yes, but when you, when you sleep at night, right? Sleep comfortably, knowing that you won because you were the best, because you beat them. And you also did not have to go against what you believe in to get there. If you can sleep at night with it, then cool, right? But a lot of people that are looked up to and envied, man, a lot of people are sad. A lot of people, the money isn't even really helping them the way you think it is, what they had to do to get it. Right, these Instagram models. Oh man, don't get me started on this Instagram models, man. I was just watching a video about how some of these models that guys are over here paying a thousand dollars for feet pictures. One girl said she got paid, what was it, a thousand dollars for a guy to get a cup of her bath water, you know, crazy shit like that. Um, one, one lady told me a guy wanted her to shave off her hair and send him that. You know, and you only see her pictures of her at the beach, pictures of her when she's back from Dubai, right? Where she's getting shitted on by camels. Yeah, shitted on by camels. That, that stuff actually happens. And she got 50 racks and God knows what else is going on over there. But you just see the facade that she puts on on Instagram and she looks fine and you're looking at her and you're paying uh, $100 for feet pictures when this same chick is getting shitted on by camels in Dubai. And like I said, man, how you get there is important as getting there. Be competitive, grind, work. But wake up in the morning and be at peace, knowing that your intention was in the right place. And if you beat somebody, you beat them fair and square. Because why? Because you're better, because you worked harder, because you were smarter. Not because you did anything, anything for clout, right? Anything crossed over people who you can't believe, you can't even deal with yourself, you can't even look in the mirror because you're disgusted with who you've become. Hey guys, my name is Chisha Zed. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, man. Hit that like button. Hello. Hit that like button, subscribe. I appreciate you all. Please Till next time, man. Comment. I stay in the mix. Talk to you stay soon. Calm. I'm out. You can. Please enjoy the show. I'm a walking Liberty Bell. Freedom ring through my stride. Freedom to be inside and be enslaved to my pride. And right away it is scream. Man, this love's so serene. I should probably shake it up just a little.